Namaste, Big Cat Water Signs, Grand Rising. Welcome or welcome back to Big Cat Astrology, Big Cat Wave. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, the planetary hot topics to add to your almanac over the next seven days. On the 18th of October, the sun in Libra squares Pluto in Capricorn. Stay cautious of divisive situations where one dominant person tries to control a group. Seek to find the underlying problem for resolution. On the 19th, the moon enters Aquarius. Embrace the opportunity to step outside of your comfort zone. Explore different perspectives and ideas for personal growth. On the 20th, Venus in Virgo trines Jupiter in Taurus. Enjoy the company of others, appreciating the positive influence they bring. Embrace the opportunity to expand your social circle. You also have Mercury in Scorpio trining Saturn in Pisces. Rely on your intuition to make wise decisions. Trust your instincts when faced with important choices. Avoid, avoid, avoid self-doubt. Today's astrology favors shrewd decision-making. Trust your judgment. On the 21st, the sun enters Scorpio. Use this period for beneficial changes. Harness your personal power wisely. You also have the sun in Scorpio trining Saturn in Pisces. Concentrate on your goals. Maintain discipline and determination. Take care in overextending yourself. Balance your ambition with practicality for your long-term success. Remember... Remember, these astrological events offer guidance and insight, but your choices and actions shape your destiny. Trust your intuition. Be understanding and approach challenges with flexibility, my big cat water signs. May your journey be filled with wisdom and growth. On the 22nd, Mercury in Scorpio. Channel your intense mental energy into productive pursuits. Allow your curiosity to guide you. Utilize a healthy balance between focus and flexibility. You also have Venus in Virgo trining, Jupiter in Taurus. Consider expanding your social circle. New connections can bring valuable insight. On the 23rd, the sun enters Scorpio. Use this period for personal growth. Tap into your inner strength and wield it wisely. On the 24th, the moon enters Pisces. Boost your pro productivity by balancing your work and rest. Taking time to recharge yourself is essential. Find moments of peace and relaxation to manage the energy around you effectively. You also have the sun in Scorpio trining Saturn in Pisces. Maintain a steadfast approach to your long-term plans. While ambition is valuable, avoid taking on too much. Big Cat, remember, life's journey is, to, is a blend of challenges and opportunities. Embrace change and trust your instincts and approach situations with a blend of confidence and adaptability. Wishing you a journey filled with wisdom and resilience as well as fulfillment. Please stay tuned in for the tarot reading to follow. Big Cat Wave. Namaste. Water signs, welcome or welcome back to Frequency Phoenix 555 for Intel for your next seven days. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Big Cat Wave. Let's dive in, darling dears, and see what's going on for you. We're going to lead with the dice. Oh, the, the red dice is immediate intel. The white dice backs it up. Okay, you have a three. So this speaks about conflict, darling dear. A nerve-wracking period for you over the next seven days. This is a time for you to keep your wits about you. Why? Quarrels, tongue wrestling, darling dears, are afoot. Somebody or, or maybe even you might feel the need to cause discord in your own life. Mm -hmm. It also speaks about this is happening because your life is about to take a drastic change, darling dears. 
Mm-hmm. Just um it's about you not being being um rebellious at this moment in time. Don't feed into the anger of the situation. Lean into the into the will of the universe, darling dear. Your life is about to make a dish, um, drastic change. So be diplomatic with yourself as well as others. To back it up, you have the energy of a two. The key word for two is what adventure, darling dear. Yes. This is going to be a lucky period for you. Mm -hmm. Good news, compliments, maybe even gifts, darling dears. You're going to be getting a gift from this situation. I told you, a drastic change is coming into your life. Mm -hmm. So any travel plans that um, you, you have, or you may even have money suddenly turning up to aid and abet some kind of travel plans that you have. This is a good time, darling, dear. Time for you to be listening to uplifting music, meditating, getting in tune with your higher self. Love it. This goes to the energy of a five. The five in tarot is the Hierophant, the God card in tarot. It's about the second house. It's about your self-worth, your values. What you value, darling, dears. For some, it's about your income. Mm -hmm. But it also means, it also highlights the past. The past where your talents weren't utilized, you're looking at a situation and wanting it, it to be in the past. It also speaks about your routines. Your routines are about to change. I told you, shake up is going on in your life over the next seven days. My water signs, the numerology of the five is um, instability is definitely afoot and it's going to come cause conflict, but it's also going to what breathe the, the new winds of change. It's about you being free at this moment in time. Mm -hmm. The five is ruled by Mercury as well as Neptune energy. Mercury is about your communications. Neptune is about the death and rebirth of a situation. It's about hidden feelings, darling dears. Maybe somebody's using some form of escapism because Neptune rules Pisces, the 12th house. Also visits to a hospital. Maybe some... Oh... Be careful with the the um, escapism, whatever level you're taking it on, darling. Dear. Be very careful with that. Mm -hmm. You might also be hearing of somebody getting some kind of confinement. Confinement could be a pregnancy, it could be prison, it could be the hospital, darling dears. Mm -hmm. New beginnings are afoot. Breathe into it, darling dear. Take a deep breath. And don't say what comes on your mind. Be diplomatic. Diplomacy, darling dears. Diplomacy. It takes, it's a lot easier. And you will catch more bears with honey rather than what? Salt. Mmm. -hmm. Right, let's press on at a hot trot. Let's get your rune stone. I'm going to use this one. Green stones, you read them from right to left. Your first stone is good. Golly and gosh, lean in, darling. This is temperance. This is represented by I was on the rune stone in the upright. It speaks about defense, darling dears. It also speaks about a new abundance coming into your life. This is about managing your time as well as your finances. You have a foot in both worlds. My water signs, listen to your intuition. It's gonna give you the motivation. It's also a sign that you're being protected. This is the sign of defense, darling dears, defense. Mm -hmm. Maybe somebody's taking up self-defense. Um, I was is represented by the numbers 13 as well as 14 and the letter Y. Mm -hmm. Maybe you'll get into your whys. This is what is going to be or has been the momentum for this change. This change that is definitely going to be in your life over the next seven days. But remember, it's a gift. Mm -hmm. Compliments. Helping hands when you least expect it. Mm -hmm. The temperance energy is Sagittarius energy, the um, ninth house. The ninth house is about um, travel, long distance travel. It's also about your your long term vision, darling dears. This is you wanting some kind of harmony and peace in your life. You're going to be meeting some soul tribe. Yeah. 
but plans around long distance travel over the next seven days is going to be fabulous, gorgeous and lovely. Why? Because temperance is Sagittarius, Sagittarius is ruled by Jupiter, the planet of expansion. Mm. You're going to be looking at certain situations as um, abundance or just waste. You're going to be looking at your spending, darling, dears, balancing it out. This is also about philosophy. You're, you've taken a long, hard look at your life, darling, dears. Mm -hmm. But good fortune is definitely on your tableau. You also have Canaz. Mm -hmm. In the upright, I might add, represented by the hermit in Tara. Mm -hmm. Represented by the letters K, I and C. Mm -hmm. The number six as well as the number nine, fire energy. On As far as the runes is concerned, this is fire energy, Lib Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. But we know that the Hermit is Virgo energy, the sixth house. The sixth house of self-improvement, darling, India. You're wanting to make healthier choices and it also it's a house of substance. And I'm, the substance is the key word. Somebody's looking at the substances. We already heard about the um, disillusion um, from the um, wanting to fade away, darling. There's wanting to be higher than a lion in Zion. But this is a time for you to be clear headed so that you can make wise decisions and embrace the changes the universe is trying to bring on to you in the next seven days. Love it. I don't hate it. Mm -hmm. It also speaks about being isolated from a situation where you feel there was betrayal and dishonesty. You're going to learn or learning to stand alone, wanting to walk alone, preparing to lean into the loneliness of, loneliness of that. Why? It's the dark night of the soul. Had to look over my right shoulder. The DNS darling dears, not for the faint hearted. Something about an older partner is relevant to someone. But you're analysing a situation and you're looking for a beacon. Well, your beacon is your faith, darling, dear. It's the size of, size of a mustard seed. Divine will challenge its strongest soldiers. And this is all part of your evolution as you move forward. This is you getting on a spiritual high, darling, dear. Listening to your intuition. Somebody's having an issue with their nervous or digestive system. Try a homeopathic method. I am not a medical um, professional, no, 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 but that's what I just heard. Okay, let's carry on. Let's see your ancestral message around this. We're going to use the soul cards, soul oracle deck. Ancestral message for the water signs for the next seven days. Your first sign is what? Surrender to the process, darling dears. And somebody, we heard about um, confinement, prison sentence. Somebody's going to have to surrender their DNA. I can release my need to control. No, this in this particular instance, no, you're not going to control the situation. You're going to let it flow. You're going to listen to your intuition. Mm -hmm. This looks like the eye of Saron. Someone is not going to be happy. Someone is also watching you very closely. I'm hearing codependent. Mm -hmm. Base of the deck. But be grateful, darling, dears, for an opening. This also kind of looks like um, a female genitalia. Yeah. Someone, somebody would love for someone to be surrendering to them so they can get to their genitalia, darling, dears. Who's that for? I don't know. But it, it is what I just come with the messages. Don't judge me. Mm -hmm. Gratitude. I'm thankful for this life and the opportun opportunities that it presents. Yes, darling, dear, a new beginning, a new opening for you. And this looks like a mirror frame or a picture frame. And it's also representing of the blue. The blue is what? The throat chakra. Mm -hmm. This is you speaking your truth, feeling more a leader in your life. This is coming off the back of um, insecurity. And feeling as though you, you're... You, you was being unheard in a situation. This could also represent ear, ear issues, ear ache, ear infection or a thyroid issue. The throat chakra is represented by the element of sound. But it's all communication as darling dears. Active listening as well. Something that you heard. Um, the throat chakra represents Friday. 
Mm -hmm. It's the fifth chakra. We've already been, yep. Mm -hmm. We've been discussing the number five. Very prevalent. This is the second time we've seen five. Two fives is about letting it go. It's also a master number, which is what reminding you that change is constant. So change is definitely a foot for you. Your ancestors are telling you to welcome it. Surrender to the process, darling dears. And you must also remember, not everyone can come with you. Face of the deck, use your imagination. And it also is a reminder um crown chakra you're going to be getting downloads in your dreams the crown chakra also represents sunday that's going to be re relevant to someone mm -hmm. it's um jupiter energy again jupiter rules pisces as well as sagittarius it's pisces of old darling dears but you, you, you've been, ha someone's been having dreams about a different dimension. Believe your dreams, darling, this is a message and always write down your dreams. It may not be um, clear to you at that moment in time, but as you go deeper into the woods, the more interest in the trees. Let's get a deck and, and see what else is coming up for you for the next seven days. Base of your deck, 10th cup, being in emotional alignment, happiness. Wanting to be in a more happy environment, supportive energy. You're going to be meeting Soul Tribe this week. 100%. Mm. No, I'm doing this and the cards are not going together. There's someone that you're not speaking to. Oh my God. I don't like it. Somebody still wants your attention, darling dears. What can the water signs expect over the next seven days? Thank you. Celebrations, darling dears. Being happy, a happy event. Um, the cups is emotions as well as relationships. Mm -hmm. But it's also speaking about somebody's going to be offering someone an open relationship as long as they stay in that paradigm. Good golly and gosh. It also speaks about celebrations with feminine energy. Maybe a party, um, a seminar, something at work. But it's a happy time, darling dears. But it also speaks about your growth. You can expect growth of around feminine energy. Yeah. Realizing that you can pick, pick until you pick. She's naive, darling. This. this goes to what? The Ten of Cups. Again, emotional alignment is what you want. It also speaks about options coming towards you, but Divine is reminding you to what? Choose wisely. There are many cups, darling. This. But one cup in particular will block your vision. Somebody wants you to stay stuck in the past or in a situation. We've got two threes on the tableau. Darling, dears, lean in, big cat, lean in. It speaks about your choices. Whatever choices you make in the up and coming week, make it be of your own choice, darling, dears. You've already gathered the intel, fire energy, something, something that affected you, your libido for some, but even your work ethic, darling, dears. Mm. All right. What challenges may arise from the winter signs over the next seven days? Narcissist, darling dear. Somebody's also leaving their job. The challenge will also be for some is to what? Claim your claim dominion of yourself, stand in authority. For others, this is um um if you're co-parenting with someone, this person is no one's parent, darling dear. Yeah, someone that chose feminine energy over their progeny. Mm -hmm. Somebody can expect some kind of income and this person still sees you as an option or someone's or, you know, you understand what I mean. Spin it around, darling dears. Wow. Well, if they're seeing someone as, still as an option, that person is saying, I don't think so. Chat to my back. Law 16 of the full check laws of power. Someone didn't appreciate someone's presence. Now they've got the absence. What about the challenges? Someone is also going to be leaving a job. King of Wands, striking out on your own as a natural born leader. This is someone who's going for a public speaking or may even have a platform. But it also speaks about you you're being extremely charming at this moment in time. But it's also, many will be drawn to you, darling dears, but not everybody comes with a cup that's for you. Yeah, Knight of Wands, be careful. There's a Jezebel spirit circling the perimeter. This is an 1111 fade on its face. This is somebody coming with bad luck towards you, darling dears. Somebody that doesn't, somebody that likes how you look, darling dear, but they can't support the situation. 
this person feels as though they've got many cups or many chances with you. Mm -hmm. Somebody's also at their wits end pretending to a job. There's so much fire energy out here, darling. Dear good golly and gosh, half and half. And I haven't seen one, well, I'm telling a lie, one major arcana is out here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm. The energy of a two and a three. A two and a three is a, a debt is going to be paid, a, a karmic debt, a financial debt. But it's definitely something that's fated to go down. It also speaks about you being on top of the will. If your life has been filled with challenges, challenging situation, fire energy, loss of passion in the situation, leaving the job, also co-parenting, whatever the paradigm is for you, somebody's definitely giving up on a situation. Yeah, higher ideals, one's energy again, listening to your intuition, move, but it's about physical movement. Page of Wands also speaks about a message that's coming towards you very quickly. You're going to get a message. Yeah, two pages could have as much as two projects in the situation, but it's a message from somebody who's jealous, somebody who's verbally abusive or, or mentally manipulative, darling dear. But you'll be turning your back on this situation. You want a new beginning. Mm -hmm. A fresh start. Yeah, somebody's going to be stressed, pressed. Pumped and perturbed, darling dears. Let's get some final messages. I haven't seen any... No Pentacallis out at this moment in time. What's going on? What's in your wallet? Let's see what your finances are going to be like for the next seven days. Bearing in mind, we had the energy of the two of them on the dice. Yeah. And it does speak about a windfall of money or mo unexpected money coming in. What is the water signs finances looking like over the next seven days? Thank you. Well, God, it's not looking good, darling. There's no change to what's going on at this moment in time. This is about you. What You're going to be discovering some kind of a secret. Yeah, that's not going to make you very happy. Nine of Cups. About an empress. All about your self-worth, darling dear. Somebody's going to find out about themselves. Their self-worth was not was low in a situation. Yeah. With someone who's a procrastinator. In the upright, this is something, intel that's coming in. Intel or a person or a way of being and thinking is coming, but it's taking its time. Something's arriving right now. Mm -hmm. Looking at a situation where there is no change, darling dear. So where you've lost a lot of money, it's affected your mental health. Yeah, Jezebel spirit. Ikiwai or Sakiwai. Somebody's looking at a situation that they found themselves in and realizing or feeling as though the bad luck is coming from someone, but it's surrendering because it's all about movement, darling. Dear. Somebody's definitely going to be moving on. Finances is going to be in the same situation as it was the last seven days. Final message. Yeah, moving on from a situation where there was no balance, no way to save any money, and um, there was lots of secrets, lots of lies, um, lots of people that was impatient, lots of quick arguments wrapped in that red cloak of wisdom, your root chakra and holding on to your ace at once for a passionate new beginning. Moving forward, darling dears, with a clear conscience about a Jezebel spirit, a disloyal friend, a partner, somebody who used SEX to keep someone stuck in a situation. Well, guess what? That ship has now sailed. Leave in a situation to boss up and find yourself. Mm -hmm. Final intel. I'm going to use the romance angel cards because there's so much about romance and leaving situations. Let's give it a quick shifty. And then we're out of here to get great. Let go, something to do with progeny and true love. Somebody had to let go of a situation with a true love, possibly involving children. Or they realized they're being let go from a situation involving a true love. Who they saw as their soulmate. Yep. About to love themselves first. You or them is choosing to love yourself first. But you still have chemistry for this person. Well, trust. Trust. Once trust has gone, darling, it's like a mirror shatters on the floor you can put it back together but you'll always see the tracks but this is about you also trusting the process you deserve love and the biggest love of all comes for self learning to love yourself on that note i drops me mic to go to my teesprings my patreon or take the hop skip and jump to my tiktoks where i also upload videos 
If you'd like a personal read for me, from me, hit me up in the Gmail. All of my intel is in the description box below. And as I always say, don't get smoked. And don't smoke yourself. From the ashes, baby. Namaste. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Big Cat Wave. Until we meet again on these tarot streets. Cat, 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 cat.